Hey guys, welcome to the most unprofessional video that I've ever made. <laughs> so remember how I told you that this month, a one universal month in numerology is all about doing things that make us uncomfortable. Well, as an eight life path, this is like not okay. <laughs> this is not okay. Making a video in my pajamas in my bed. Um, but I figured it would be a good exercise. And if you're an eight or you have an eight as a dominant archetype or superpower in your code, you understand what I mean. We are so hooked in to looking polished, having everything professional, you know. Um, so for what it's worth, I'm, I'm pushing myself out onto the edge. So I want to share with you guys an experience that I had today. I think that I might have just met the most beautiful woman in the world. I'm at the coffee shop trying to write my book. I'm actually, most of the time I spent watching um, flight airplane videos. But anyway, I'm there. And there's this couple that's there every Saturday morning, 9 a.m. And they're a couple that's like in their like early 60s. And they are so bonded. I mean, like, you know when you see a couple and there's just like something in between them that's permeable. Like it's just you can see it, the bond and the connection and the devotion. So they walk in, they both get cappuccinos, they sit down, he reads the business section out of the, um, the New York Times, and this woman, she's this silver-haired lady, little plump, probably like five feet tall. She sits there next to him, sipping on her cappuccino for two hours, okay, <laughs> for two hours, and all she does is watch people. And I'm watching her watch people because I'm like, what is it about this woman that makes her so attractive? Have you ever had that experience where you meet people and they could be like 70 years old, they could be, they could have no money, they could, they could, you know, defy the, the laws of beauty or, you know, conventional beauty. And there's something about them that is so sexy, so appealing, so attractive, right? Well, it's because they have a particular superpower. They're utilizing a particular superpower. So I'm watching her and I'm like taking notes. Like, I'm like, what is it about this woman that's so beautiful? Like her skin is radiant and her eyes are just luminous. And I swear like wherever she sits, she's backlit by natural light. Like, so she just, it's like, it's just like the whole universe is just uh, glowing around her. And I realized that it's the number two. So the two in sacred geometry represents the line, right? Two points. And the two is the number of relationship, bond, attraction, two things coming together, which by the way, we're, um, February is going to be like a soulmate month. Oh my God, it's going to be amazing um, because of that. It's a two. It's an 11-2. Um, but one of the things that comes with the two, if you want to activate that, that superpower of attraction, uh, of appeal, of basically creating a tractor beam, because that is what she had, like hands down, is presence. It was presence. Now, if you have any twos in your chart or you know twos, you'll understand this. If you sit with a two and they're a, a developed, trained two, they're developed in the superpower of connection and sensitivity, they will just like look into your eyes. They will look into your soul and you will immediately just like want to do anything for them because they're just there with you. They're there. Oh my gosh. And so here she was. She was the only one in this whole huge room of dozens of people who was present. She was the only one. You know, we have our, we're all like caffeined out and we're laughing and we're moving from thing to thing and we're in our electronics, or our books. And she was just observing, you know? So if you are let's say in a relationship where you're wanting more love and affection from your partner or you're single and you want to really feel that that sense of connection you want to feel people coming into your life 
who see you and honor you and hold you in high regard, you can start using the number two superpower. So do what this beautiful woman did. When you're going from the car to the grocery store, breathe in the fresh air. Listen to the birds. You know, stop for a moment and just look up at the sky. If you're in a conversation with somebody, put down your phone. <laughs> Focus on what they're saying. Look into their soul. Be present. And this, no matter how old you are, no matter what your body looks like, no matter what your finances are like, if you were to just apply this number two, the superpower of connection through presence, you are going to see things rapidly change in your life, like probably within minutes. Somebody will come up to you. You will, tr you will attract people like a tractor beam out of thin air. All right, so that is my off-the-cuff little story of the day. Um, and I'm probably going to do another video soon um, with my daughter, Cammie. And um, so stay tuned for that. I think we wanted to do a video together for a while and she's really into it. And so we might do it like on the number four. So we'll see. All right, guys, I hope you're having an awesome month. And please comment below. What are you guys doing that's like getting you out of your comfort zone? What are you doing that um, has made you really uncomfortable? I'd love to hear it so that I'm not the only one. <laughs> All right, bye.